Hi all, let me tell you some of the hidden stories for India's space missions. Let's begin with India's mission to Mars. India launched its Mars mission Mangaya. Now the question arises, why in a country like India take such a big mission? When we have already gone to the moon, why do we need to go to Mars? Is it only to show the world that we have the capacity to go to Mars? Or there could be some hidden answers? Let me tell you some of them. By launching successfully a space mission to Mars, India established that it has got an excellent launch capacity. As we all know, not only satellites, but countries do launch many other things. Out of that one is intercontinental ballistic missiles. By establishing this launch capacity, India indirectly told China that now it has got the capacity to reach China's capital, Beijing, which lies somewhere around 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers away. This launch was an indirect show to the world of our launch capacity to fire intercontinental ballistic missiles. Is that the only reason? Before I come to the other reasons, let's come back to the moon. We have gone to Mars. That means we have good launch capacity. Then why are we launching another mission to moon? What's the need to land a rover on the moon? The answer lies on the surface of the moon. Surface of the moon has sand which is a non-radioactive material. As we all know that nuclear power plants need uranium as a fuel and uranium is a nuclear radioactive fuel. But sand on moon is non-radioactive. If this sand can be brought back to our country, nuclear energy would be the safest one to prefer. This is another reason why not only India but many countries are going to moon. There is a consortium of India, US, France and a few other countries who are working to get this sand back to planet so that we can have a safer nuclear power. Is that the only reason? Or is there any business logic? The answer lies in India's location. India lies close to the equator and 12th standard physics it is easy to launch satellites from close to the equator as compared to the poles because the gravitational force of the planet is lowest close to the equator. That means the cost of launching a satellite is much less for India if you compare it with European countries, Russia or America. That's the reason. 105 satellites were launched by ISRO. Out of those 105, 90 plus were Americans. If America already has NASA, then why are its companies coming to India? Because of our location, which gives us cost advantage. This brings in much needed foreign exchange for our country. Recently, government announced that 40% FDI in space is allowed on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, what does it mean? It means that foreign companies like SpaceX, they can come to India, set up their own manufacturing plant and use our ports to launch their satellites. Any business reason or any logic for this? The answer lies in the state of Gujarat. Gujarat has come up as a manufacturing hub for India. It has got an entire ecosystem of automobile companies. Whenever that ecosystem comes up, it comes up with suppliers, it comes up with companies like Maruti, Honda, which use this facility to launch their vehicles, to manufacture them and use spare parts from the nearby suppliers. This generates employment. Government plans will do the same for space. Because space requires electronics, it requires manufacturing, which in turn leads to higher employment generation. 
what government did in Gujarat, it wants to replicate the same thing for its space missions as well. Recently, ISRO acquired in Tamil Nadu another piece of land for its launch facilities. As of today, India has only one launch pad that lies in Andhra Pradesh, Satish Dhawan Space Center. With this increase in FDI and increase in India's space missions, there is another piece of land that has been required as a space port. In simple words, you have been seeing ships using ports and harbors of different countries. In coming years, you will see the world using India's space launch facilities because we are exploiting our natural resource location. Thank you.